I got some notes this time. So we're at breakfast at Stephanie's. This place is place is very very uh, well talked about. There's a lot of reviews online. Um, we came here. Upton, right? Upton. Came here a little before eight o'clock. There's already people waiting. I mean, we got in exactly at eight o'clock, and there was a line of people right behind us. So it was actually an old timer. You could tell he was a local. He just walked in front of everybody and opened the door and didn't get. He just like <laughs> sat down. We he didn't even have to him. order. The woman brought him food. He didn't, even, he didn't even say a word. So, anyway, but I took some notes. So, I got a Western omelet with uh, egg whites. Omelet was perfect. It's huge. The vegetables inside were perfectly cooked. Uh, mm. Onions were delicious in it. Right amount of ham, right amount of peppers, uh, right amount of cheese. Toast, a big, big slice of toast. Um, wasn't thick, but it was a big piece. It was buttered on one side. I thought a little bit too much butter for me, but, but it was good. Home fries of Red Bliss potatoes. They were perfectly cooked. They had, uh, for me, it was a heavy garlic flavor, so I noticed that there was a lot of garlic powder on them, but I liked them a lot. Um, I got a side of bacon. I thought the bacon had a maple flavor. I don't think Dan tasted that, but, it, but that was good as well. It was cooked right. Dan also got hash. He'll talk about it a little more. I thought the hash didn't have any flavor at all. It just tasted more like potatoes to me, but I'm sure he'll tell you more. Mm. Um, the coffee was Boston's best coffee, which is neither from Boston nor is it their best. <laughs> but it, it's, I mean, around here, you either get Boston's best or you get Green Mountain coffee. So I, I kind of go back to my original, my original thesis was if, if, if you want an eight, you got to have good coffee. This is as close to an eight as I'm as as I'm going to be able to get. So it's like a seven nine nine. If the uh, if the coffee was better, then they would definitely be over. So that's right. where I'm at. Good <clears throat> Sounds breakfast. Sounds good. Thanks. Hey. So uh, yeah. So I I came to this place. I heard a lot about it, and uh, you know their their menu is extremely creative, and they do a ton of uh, you know like stuffed French toast, things like that. And we get the eggs, so you know that's what we always get. Um, but their omelets were extremely creative, and I wanted an omelet because they had a uh, stuffed mushroom omelet, which had like sweet sausage, and it was almost like you'd get a stuffed mushroom. It was excellent. Really, really good omelet, very creative, and uh, I enjoyed the heck out of it. The, uh, the potatoes, uh, Red Bliss, like you said, they were like oven cooked. That's how they did them. They weren't grilled. Um, had a few burned ones. Nice seasoning, nice flavor. Almost, I picked up a little bit, maybe <clears throat> Parmesan in there Ooh, a little bit too. Okay. Um, but um, thought they were good. I ate a lot of those. Uh, toast was good. Hash, there's a homemade hash. They get an option of either homemade hash or like the canned hash. So we got the homemade. I think what the problem was is the ratio of potatoes to corned yeah. beef hash was way off because you it didn't even taste like corned beef because there was so much potato in it. Not seasoned very well. Um, you know, so it is what it is. They're getting a good mark for me for the omelet. It was a really good omelet. Um, so I got an 8-2 overall on this. But that's it. Yeah.